Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here from Serpent X Tech, and in this video I want to talk to you about aftermarket 12-pin connectors. Now, there's a lot of them out there nowadays. It's very easy to get your hands on. Uh, they're actually pretty affordable, but you know, choosing the right one or choosing a uh, you know a compatible slash good quality one is going to be hard to find. Now, these are Asia Horse sleeved 12-pin connectors. Very long. You got plenty of room uh, compared to the stock, you know, stumpy one that Nvidia gives you. And what I want to focus on is. If you look inside, you can see on the 12 pin on the GPU itself, you have all 12 pins on there. However, the stock connector will only have six of them populated rather than the other 12. If we look at this connector from Asia Horse, we will actually see that all 12 are populated compared to the stock one. So what that basically means, the stock one only has the six pins populated and it only has one eight pin connector whereas this Asia Horse one has two eight pins. What that basically translates to for me is I could technically plug this into the GPU and the ones that is on the left side, so it's actually this eight pin right here, this top one. If I plug in an eight pin power connector to that, that will power this GPU just fine. Just like the 3070 is the same way, you only have one side of the stock connector populated instead of all 12. So uh, if I wanted to connect the 3080, this Asia Horse connector is compatible as well to where all 12 pins are being supplied juice. The card will only pull what it needs. It won't draw more. Like if I didn't connect another 8 pin to the other side, it wouldn't be a problem because it's getting 75 watts from the slot and then whatever it needs uh, through the 8 pin connector, which can handle it because if we minus the TDP, um, and minus you know 75 watts that leaves us with 145 which obviously in a single 8 pin can handle but the biggest thing and the most important thing I want to talk about is making sure that you get good quality cables from a reputable uh, seller now Asia Horse has been around for quite a bit I've seen Bitwit and a number of other content creators use them so I'm not going to say you know Asia Horse is the best but it is something that I know other users have had success with and these sleeve cables are just really beautiful actually. So just make sure you're getting good quality cables. Uh, you know, most of the time these cables or any type of power cables will fail where the pin connection is. And you can see there's only six on these connectors. The top two are blanked out because you're only connecting to 12 here, six and six. But the biggest thing obviously is quality. Uh, check the reviews, see if anybody else is using them before you go buying them and trying to power your cards with some junk cables. But I could trust Asia Horse. This is what the package looks like. Nothing too crazy. It comes with cable combs and it's 16 aug, which I always like. You know, the, the higher or the thicker the cable, the better it is. 30 centimeter in length, clear cable combs. So I can direct this however I want. Once I install it, this fits my system build. You can get in custom colors for whatever you got. So. Just a little bit of information for you. I technically don't need to populate both eight pins to power this 3060 Ti. Uh, you can identify that by again, looking at the stock OEM one, turn your cable upside down, and you will see that that left side is all we need. That left side is connected to this top eight pin right here. So that's gonna do it for today's video. Please do me a favor on the way out, hit the like button. Don't forget to get subscribed and hit the notification bell to stay up to date and I will catch you all in the next one. Take care.